we do need these kind of characters because they provide a well ideally they provide a perfect example of what to do and how to be um, and how to behave um, through one perspective or another and so they're wonderful characters to compare ourselves against um, and to compare the actions of others against a lot of people want to direct their fear at something and whether it be at everyday real world stuff or whether it be at this new god in the sky um, or whether it be them praising this this savior um, or hating him uh, these are the things which he faces he's still trying to do the right thing and do the right thing by everyone um, and ignore the slings and arrows but at the same time try and find an understanding and get a closer connection to humanity he has a connection to humanity through Lois and Martha and through Jonathan as well when he grew up but otherwise he needs to study humans and their reaction to him so he knows how to be and how to best serve the human race the relationship between Martha and Clark is the one constant it's the one thing which hasn't changed um, she will always see him, as every mother does, as a little baby, as a boy growing up. Um, he may be a lot bigger and stronger, <laughs> but he's still her little baby. And um, I think he will always see her as the mother figure, as the one to go to, the one to ask, why doesn't it make sense? Um, and, and or just say, it hurts, fix it for me. When it comes down to Batman, Clark, Superman, doesn't agree with the way he carries out justice. He understands that Batman is doing, is trying to do this justice thing, but Clark's view is entirely different. His view is go about it in an ethical manner, where Batman is, at any cost, inflict justice. Um, and so that's essentially where they come to blows because they're trying to achieve the same thing but through entirely different methods. I think now is the right time to bring Wonder Woman in because we have Superman, we have that baseline, um, we have the flip side of the coin which is Batman and we're missing that third essential piece of the triangle which is the female power. Um, and how that is approached, um, how justice is approached from that direction. The setting of the world is a world in which Superman exists for the first time. And so it's a world in, in turmoil, in flux. Um, and it's the human response. So you see the human response in Batman, who fears him. You see the human response in Lex Luthor, who hates him because he hates a part of himself. 